headline finding was that compared to a, perhaps a lot of current anxiety over how AI could manipulate an election result, reassuringly, we haven't seen any clear evidence of that so far, for instance, comparing to polling data. Things such as an erosion of trust in, in governments and, and information sources, um, deepened political polarization, the, the kind of consolidation of echo chambers. Um, all of these things, I think, uh, deep fakes and AI threats are just enhancing. everybody is at risk. Our traditional ways of experiencing knowledge, checking knowledge, have to change with technology. We can't just be like, oh, we saw it with our own eyes and therefore we believe it. We have to be aware that everything we see online probably has to be like examined very critically. But algorithms do that behind your back, right? They are in the back, reading you, learning you, figuring out what you like, what you don't like, what you would vote for when you buy things, when you don't buy things. And they tailor the world to you, but you don't know that. You think you have a shared reality with everybody, but you're sitting in a filter bubble. So you have to spread very fastly. You have um, information that is really, really convincing, and you're not even aware that you're being nudged. So that's a perfect storm for trying to meddle with elections, for example. We have no mechanisms to regulate it, no mechanisms to really validate that it's real content. Uh, and it's something that uh, the regulators, the legislators, uh, I'm sure are gonna have to deal with, you know, in the next sort of several years. Mm -hmm.